Race season is getting hot here in Australia and New Zealand, just like the weather. So where can you find some awesome triathlons to compete in? Watch on to find out. Hey, how's it going? I'm Will from Iron Wheel Multisport Australia, your place to find tips, tricks and experience in triathlons, multisport and endurance events and training. 2018 may almost be over, but the triathlon season is only just starting here in Australia and New Zealand. So where can you find these events? One of the biggest and most obvious places is via the Ironman series and via their websites. I'm even a bit of a walking advertisement for them right now. If you go to their events site, which I'll link below, and for all of these that I'm mentioning today, I'll have a link below to their events sites. You'll see events for all around the world, including Australia and New Zealand. And this isn't just for the full length Ironman. You've also got the Ironman 70.3, the short course try, uh, running, cycling, Iron Kids, and multi-sport tri festivals, all of which are hosted by the Ironman group. Now the Ironman events are all at a particularly high standard, so you're gonna get a pretty similar experience no matter where in the world you're completing your Ironman event. The main difference is gonna be in the course content, so what you're actually doing in each of the courses. For the start of 2019, your first event for the Ironman group series is the Geelong event. This includes an Ironman 70.3, so the half length, and also Iron Kids. The next event off the ranks of 2019 is the Kellogg's Nutrigrain Ironman event run in Taupo. And this event holds the 70.3 distance, so the half length, and the full length Ironman. I would say definitely consider these if you're able to, they're both going to be awesome events. And all of the Ironman events across 2019 will be, of course, amazing. Check out the links in the description below. Then there's the Challenge series. Challenge is another group that holds events all around the world, including Australia and New Zealand. Probably the most famous Challenge event is Challenge Roth. The Challenge events tend to be the middle or longer distance, for the most part. And there are a few events scheduled for Australia and New Zealand for 2019, though not too many. In the first half of the year, there's only two, so one in Australia and one in New Zealand. The first one for the year is the Challenge Wanaka, which is in New Zealand on the 16th of February. Now this is a middle distance event, so it's similar to what a half Ironman would be. It's a 1.9 kilometer swim, a 90 kilometer bike ride, and a 21-ish kilometer run. The next event, which takes place in Australia, is the Challenge Melbourne, which takes uh, is in Port Phillip Bay on the 14th of April. And both of these events are qualifier races, so you can qualify to be part of the championship, which is on the 2nd of June in Slovakia. Check out the links below. Elite Energy is a great group running events across Australia. I've been to a couple of Elite Energy run uh, events before, and they've always been such a great, fun challenge. Now the events in the Elite Energy series are mostly the shorter distance triathlons. So you're gonna have your sprints, your Olympic distances, that sort of thing, super sprints even. There are some longer events, but it's mostly the shorter events that they focus on. For instance, the first couple of events in 2019 is on the 12th of January, there is the Kernel Sprint Series. So they've got a sprint and a super sprint. And then soon after, there is the Naura Triathlon Festival. So this holds a standard length, a sprint and a super sprint as well. Once again, check out the links in the description box below. Another smaller event series is the 2XU event series, which takes place across Australia. The first set of events is the ones which take place in St Kilda. This is on the 13th of February. It has an Olympic length distance and sprint, sprint length distances all the way down to kids lengths. And then on the 3rd of February, you've got the Elwood uh, 2XU triathlons. These are shorter lengths, so there's the sprint and the kids distances. As usual, check out the link below. And now we get into the grouping websites. So these are websites that kind of culminate events from multiple sources. This includes the Triathlon Australia website and the Tri New Zealand website. Another great website is the Run Calendar website, both for Australia and New Zealand. And then you've also got Event List for Australia and Event Finder for New Zealand. So similar sort of websites, and they culminate not only like the 2XU and some of the Elite Series events, but they also have some of the club events. And so because lots of these events are a little bit smaller, it can be a little easier to do. They can be great tries to go to to test yourself. Uh, they're a little less big and intimidating. And getting yourself to these club events is a great way to get yourself into a triathlon club if you're not already with one. You can go along to a club event that you may be considering signing up to that club, talk to people about the club, see what their thoughts are, and maybe even sign up. So links to the sources I mentioned before in the description box below. And finally, if you're part of a triathlon club, which I highly recommend, you can check out with the club 
about the club triathlons. Have a look on their website or their social media presence. Your club will have local events happening every now and again, and they may also advertise into club events, whether you're competing against other clubs or in other clubs' events. Or just ask other people. Being in a triathlon club means you're surrounded by like-minded people who also want to go into events. How do you find events to compete in? Leave a comment in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching. If you can hit that like and subscribe button, that would be amazing. And I will see you in the next one. Cheerio.